Ironside is doing a huge giveaway. This is Wisp, a beautifully built custom PC with some pretty insane specs, such as the Ryzen 9 3900X processor, a GeForce RTX 2080 GPU, along with some amazing storage, such as a 1TB SSD and a 2TB hard drive. And of course, you can't forget the 32GB of RAM. If you guys would like a chance to win this, be sure to follow the link in the description box down below. Thank you to Rush Chance for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out along with using code Bernie for 50 cents to use on our site. The link will be in the description box down below. Let me take a minute to introduce you guys to the sponsor of today's video, The Ridge. They make tons of amazing products, such as waterproof bags, power banks, phone cases, and of course, some of the most incredible wallets in the market. We all know the ultimate goal is to carry all the essentials, but in less bulk as possible. As a great example, here's a wallet that they actually sent me. This one is called the Aluminum Navy. Don't let the small size fool you, as it holds everything that I need. You also have the ability to customize the money holder in the back to a strap or a clip holder as I'd have. This wall is also very durable, with there being two plates being held together by a very durable band. It comes in aluminum, titanium, and carbon fiber, along with there being a huge variety of designs and colors that you get to choose from. Go take a look using my custom link in the description box down below. I can guarantee that you will find something that you like. And once you do, be sure to use code IMBERNIE for 10% off. Well, here we are with yet another adventure, but this time we're going to see how I can do solo. Test the waters a bit. Really put my skill to the test. This is how boys become men. I fucking hate rocks. Chapter 1. Home of the Ioka. This should come in handy. And just like that, I had enough materials to build a base. I quickly ran away in search of a new place to call home. I spotted something lit up. I wonder what it is. Fuck yeah, baby. Let's get it. Chapter 2. The Nuisance.
Okay, a pickaxe, we need that. Shortly after my little scuffle, I went back out for another wood run. Let's try going airfield, see if we can get some stuff. You saw me. Come on, take the bait, bud. I think they know I live there. I'm pretty sure those are the two guys I killed just a bit ago. Alright, here he comes. You hear the fucking leaf blowers outside my house? Hey, buddy, take the bait. Take it. shots there. These guys sat outside my base for a while, smacking my base with a hammer and just overall being a nuisance. I needed to take care of them. That's what you call getting up late, my brother. Hell no way, friends, man. You sitting here door camping me. Peace treaty, I guess. I'll take it. Just a matter if they'll stick to it or not. We're not gonna trust them quite yet, because we never know what their intentions are, but I'll take that as a peace treaty. Right, let's try to head out, get some stuff. We're gonna try to head up airfield, uh, so we can possibly get a gun. I feel a lot more comfortable with at least a revolver or something. Or even a water pipe. I'll take anything, really. Anything that I can shoot besides a bow. Even a fucking crossbow. I love crossbows. We don't want to be stuck in a primitive stage for too, too long. Back away at these things. But if worse comes to worse, we'll, uh, we'll buy it from one of those shops. Well, that sucked. I respawned in base and started hearing footsteps again. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he's doing. Let's find out. I'm on. This is me. Look at I have. 
I can guarantee one of them's gonna. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Little shit. Hey, yo, man, what the fuck, bro? Sorry, 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 my friend. Nah, nah, man. You could have said something, but you didn't. I eventually checked outside the base to see if they're still hanging around, which they weren't. But then I heard something going on close by. Oh. <sighs> this fucking guy again, dude. The same as that guy that killed me at the airfield. Looks like he's making his way around. I ran back towards my body to see if he left anything behind. Okay. Alright, Benny. Okay, bud. I see you. I see you, Benny. You see, there is a certain set of rules that I go by. If you're geared, don't shoot niggas that oppose no threat to you. To clarify, I didn't see anything wrong with what Captain Napalm did here. And here. I had a weapon and I probably startled him, and by the looks of things, he seemed solo. Completely justifiable. But on another hand, our boy Benny over here did a big no-no. At least in my book. I opposed no threat to him. I even did a cute little friendly jump to let him know that I wasn't even gonna fuck with him. And as you guys saw, he shot me directly in the face for no reason whatsoever. That alone put him on my shit list. Chapter 3, Counterattack. Obviously, things weren't going too well. I needed a weapon sooner than later. So, I headed down towards the road, hitting barrels to get enough scrap to craft a level 1 along with the research table to learn a few key items. Then, once again, I headed back out to buy a double barrel at a nearby shop. And along the way, I found the ruins of a base. We need some of this stuff, for sure. I went ahead and headed down the road to achieve my original plan of getting a gun. Then, once again, headed back down to the base to snag some of the leftover items. See, all of this stuff as a solo would be extremely useful. You never know when you're going to use it. Always worth grabbing. Oh, that fucking sucks. That shotgun trap's broken. Yeah, I mean, you, you really never know. You really don't. I'm gonna grab all these, too. Just because it's why not. I can actually pit one of these on my window. And decide the base. Look at that. Fucking garage door. Hell yeah. I headed back home with all my newly gained items. Then proceeded to make a few upgrades on my base. Fucking Benny, still roaming around the area. Must live close by. Hmm. I made my way back towards where Benny killed me. Let's see if I can find where he lives. Oh, there we go. I see you. Uh oh. 
I'm pretty sure this is going to be Benny. Oh, that turret's going to be pretty much screwed over. Let's back up real quick. I want to see where the front door is so I can see if I can run in. Oh, I just put down the door. Bummer. You know what? I'm gonna do something real quick. Let's head back, grab the double barrel, and see if we can wait. Let's see if we can catch him while he's running back. See if I can get back in time. Quickly running back to base, I grabbed the double barrel and made my way back towards the raid. As much- I, I would personally rather be at his front door, but that fucking turret's there and there's already some- someone getting shot by the turret, so I'm gonna sit back. Because when I ran up originally, I swear he came from this direction, if I remember correctly. So I believe his base is around here somewhere. Like in this, this general, I mean, this could even be his base right here, which I kind of doubt. I have a feeling he's gonna be, if he comes out with some shit, he's gonna be running this way. That's, so that's why I'm waiting for him right here. I heard a minicopter land behind me further in the trees. It left the turret off. This is my chance to sneak up. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I need to come back. There's a little bit of stuff here as well. Now listen very closely. One, one more here. Behind the base, Benny. Benny. It is Wait. Benny. He said Benny. Once again, another run-in with Benny. But this time, it seems like he has some friends. Or allies. As we go back and look at this clip in slow motion, we can for sure confirm that it was Benny. Along with two other new names that I haven't seen before. But that doesn't matter. If they're with Benny, they're also now on my shit list. Although for now, I'm going to seal up my bunker and call it quits on day one. Chapter 4. The Big Play. Going down the road hitting barrels, I spotted a shop selling a pretty decent weapon. I believe I just forgot to press the record button here, but I ended up buying that saw from the shop. Taking it home, I quickly researched it. Now, I just needed enough scrap to craft a level 2 bench. Moments later, I found a minicopter close by. That would be a suicide mission, especially since I only have a crossbow.
At this point, I was over being picked on. It was time to go all in. I killed so many of them! Like all the dead bodies, dude. It's okay. We need this so bad. This is so worth. Like this doesn't seem. This might not seem like a lot to a fucking solo player. This is god tier. We're so close yet so far. Go ahead and yoink that in there. Thank you very much. I don't know if it's worse, me or him. I quickly ran up into the tower to heal up. He might have some friends close by. Um, a sticky situation. Oh god, where is he? I'm scared! I have nothing to heal with either. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. He has backup! I'm so dead. <laughs> There's a lot of boys out there. I have 15 oh bullets! Oh, this is not fair! <laughs> You're gonna get fucked on. Here they come. Here they come. 15 bullets in a dream.
Ich hab Tore. Kill three. There's one more. I think. Kill another. Jesus, are you really gonna do this? <laughs> You're gonna get fucked on. <laughs> So. Oh shit. I see the last one right now. There's one more. Oh my fucking god, what am I doing right now? Yeah, push down you bitch, I dare you. I fucking dare you. I hit him so hard. That was my chance. I loot these bodies. I got to go. Ah! Killed so many! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I fucking did it! It's so close! Fucking made it. Oh my god. Holy f I wonder what I knocked down the other guy to combat log. I hit him down to five health. I guess that's one way of getting gear sets, eh? Well, it's not over. Shortly after my big play, I ran back with some primitive gear to grab the scraps. Yeah, see, told you. Get back here, you little shit. You're gonna keep running, are you serious, dude? Oh, I missed him by a ball hair. Oh, I didn't, didn't need that too. Oh, come on. What is going on down there? I'm gonna go investigate. I really wanna go out with a gear set right now, but the problem is I need to research half the stuff that I have in there. Oh no. Oh, he has a star. God, I wish I had a gun right now. I can kill him so easily. There's another one. That one's naked, though. Did I down him? I downed him. Where's your gun? Oh, it's under your butt. Got it. What the fuck? Get that shit off there. All right, time to take another gun home. <laughs> this was really the turning point of my luck. I went from nothing but crossbows and bows to rocking some of the best weapons in the game. But this was only just the beginning. Chapter five, the bait. Now that we have some very useful weapons, I think we're ready to take the fight to Benny. But there is one problem. We haven't seen him or his friends in quite some time. The thing is, we know he lives close, just not exactly where. I need some way to bring him out of his little hidey hole. Hey, really, bud? Where are you shitting me from, bud? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, that's what you get, bud. Where are your friends at? Oh, there's one. Ooh. You really get to sit in your window, bud? Ooh, there's three of them. Ooh, that kind of killed me right there. For fuck's sake, man. It's so hard fighting against that sniper, because it's just like, point and click. Seeing as I was starting to run low on meds, I fell back to try to get out of that area. It was a pointless fight. Oh, there he is. 
Sit still, you fucker. Come on. That didn't kill him? Really? I'm gonna go see if he bled out. Like right here. I think there's two of them? They're raiding the space. I'm having the same guy, I don't think. Oh, he has fucking- What?! He has C4?! Oh, I gotta loot this shit and run! Alright, I gotta go. Why the fuck did he have four C4 in him? And he had a flamethrower too, holy shit. Not entirely sure why that guy had four C4 for a wooden door raid, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. If anything, it opens up a big door of potential plays, and the first thing that came to mind was flying into the snow to see if I can find a small farm base to raid. Oh, uh, look at that, see, the cage base right here. I see some boxes, okay. We can find anything. Ooh. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, that's how I lose my first Metal Gear set. I make the coolest fucking play ever. 1v5 a group of AK guys with nothing but 15 bullets. Then I die to a fucking turret. You've got to be kidding me. Well, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Look at the bright side. At least I didn't have the C4 on me. Speaking of winning some, it was time to do some raids. I still need to get Benny and his goons out of their hideouts, so I grabbed what gear I could and ran to the first base I spotted. Let's make some noise. All right, let's see if I can get this right. There's our top door, our front door right here. Yeah, there's our front door. I feel like. Okay, that's our foundation there. Time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. Holy butt cheeks. Those guys are gonna come over. They're gonna peek at the top of the hill any second now. I can feel it in my bones. Please blow up. not enough what to make it another TC. Oh no. Oh. oh. Wait a minute. This is one of the guys that was door camping me back in chapter two. Got my revenge without even trying. I ended up throwing everything into the TC along with locking it. Eventually I broke the wall, but ended up getting down by someone outside. In a rush, I F1 killed and ran back. Okay, I have an idea. Hey, yo, man. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you better run, bitch. Yeah, right, they're running. Told you, tie run works every time. I eventually ended up leaving the raid with the rest of the belongings, along with giving two random niggas the remaining of what's left. Hey, dude. I, uh, behind me, there's a base with some stuff in it if you guys want it. Right behind me. See that base right there with the open? Please, please don't kill us, my brother. I'm not gonna kill you. You guys can see that base down there with the open door? You can have it. Away and run over there naked. 
Okay, I'll unlock my it. My brother, you are awesome, my brother. Yeah, of course, dude. You okay. are good, man. Awesome. You... I love you. I love you too, buddy. I, I love you, man. There you go. Good luck. Don't die. But our problem still exists, as we still haven't found out where Benny lives. So I continue to do what seems to be working. I'm so undergeared for this. Okay, so it's gonna go in like this. This is probably loot room here. DC is gonna be right here. I should just broke. Oh my god. Okay, um... Okay, uh... Is there a building plan in Hammer somewhere? And guess what? It fucking worked. This was moments later after my raid. As soon as I got into base, I heard a set of footsteps close behind me. You're trying to tell me... ...that this isn't thickened, so I'm speaking. No, no, this is his base. Um, my name's Tyrell. It's not, though, is it? Oh, there is. It's literally me. You good? Yeah, you better have taste those fucking F1 grenades. Huh? Come out of the base. No, I'm not going to open it up so you can jump in. I don't I don't want to jump in. It's just I don't believe that your name isn't Thickums. I think we both know that you're Thickums. Well, I'm definitely not. I, don't, I'm not, I can't trust that you're not going to jump into the base, either. Um... Yeah, see? I've got, I've got some friends coming over. We'll, uh, we'll work it out. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this sounds exactly like Benny. Here is a short audio clip from earlier, so you guys can be the judge of it yourselves. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, God, I need to come back. There's a little bit of stuff there as well. And to also include, he mentioned they had some friends coming over. Hello. Uh-oh. So, uh... The, the American guy in here, apparently called Tyrell, says he just raided Thickens. But I'm I'm 100% sure it's Thickens in here. Come on, man. Thickens killed me earlier with an AK and a bolt, and he comes out every time there's gunfire at our base. Wait, I know where they live. These are the only guys that I've killed using a bolt. This has to be them. Do you, are you like just constantly vaping because your voice is very low? Yeah, I've been smoking for about 13 years. Yeah, why don't you type something in chat? Type, uh... Put Thickums well, as a big so boy. We can, so we in know chat. you're not Thickums, yeah. Alright, do you see it? You, you're talking in team chat, I think, mate. Team chat? Wait, how the fuck do you change it? Uh, I tap, tap. Hold on, hold on, let me check my hotkeys. I think I might have changed it one sec. Oh, mate, you're full of shit. Oh, no! I fucked up! <laughs> This is a problem. Now they know where I live. Are you guys out there? This is not good. This is not good at all. Seeing as they now know where I live, I decided it was a good idea to make some upgrades on my base. Adding some honeycomb to the back, along with more doors on the inside, it was now at its full potential. There I was, just sitting in base, waiting for them to come raid me, when I noticed some people talking in chat. They mentioned a very familiar name. Seems like Benny had a lot more friends than I thought he did. Again, I waited in base for a while, but there was nothing to be heard. So I decided to take a poke at them, see if I can push them to come raid me while I was online. Going bad. I'm stalking my prey. Where the fuck is he going? Come on, hop back up here, you won't. What? Are you ah! fucking kidding me, dude? Yep, that's one of the guys talking about Benny in chat.
Oh, they have to turn. Oh, they're all turned off. <gasps> Ooh. Oh God, okay. Give me all your corn, motherfuckers. The man himself, Benny. What's up, Tyrell? Oh no! Come raid me, bitches! You guys fucking <laughs> suck, bro. Y'all suck! He just killed your teammate! I continued to bug them, even going out and taking the fight straight to their base. Regardless of their power and numbers, they wouldn't even do as much as give me a fight away from the safety of their walls. Oh, fuck, am I gonna play? They were cowards. They knew they outnumbered and outgunned me, but still continued to play the defense. They just run back into their base. These guys are lame sauce. Even as I got home, there were other people in the chat complaining about Benny and his goons. They also talk a lot of trash for never leaving their base. Oh, and do me a favor. I want you guys to remember these exact words. Pointless. Got it? Cool. Now, keep in mind, the server I was on was an EU server, and it was 7.48 p.m. PST for me. Oh. I think my base is getting raided. I heard somebody. I F1 killed and spawned at a nearby bag. Oh god. It's black. Yep, yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers. Okay, wanna play that game? Looks like we're playing the offline rating game. These motherfuckers don't know what they want. But did they try to go through my front door too? I'm missing a bag by the front door. I thought we weren't gonna offline raid each other. No. I just had to pull out that card. What the fuck? He's still in there! I just had a heart attack? Bro, you trying to offline raid me? I see you, cuh. I see you. Okay. Okay, bro. You want some of this? You want the smoke? Oh, I didn't even see him. It's, um... Oh. That's why I love the shotgun trap. Get your fat ass up there! 
Hey, what's wrong, man? You don't want to talk? What's up? Oh, I see him. He's up down the hill. Where's this gun? I'm about to get his gun now. He's still up there. I have an idea. Where'd he go? <sighs> Where's his gun? Got it. Oh, baby. I had to be just a little bit toxic to them. Well, they just gave me a very uh, good rating tool here. I caught them in the act of offline raiding my base, and completely stopped them in their tracks. They even provided me with a very useful raiding tool. So, once again, I had to head out and get some components. You're busted! Sherlock <laughs> <sighs> Holmes over here! Goddamn! They found out who I was. At first I didn't see it as a big deal, but them knowing that completely changed the way they acted and played. God, really? This guy's gonna call me out in chat? Or is the YouTuber on Bernie lives in R18? Oh my. Oh no! Don't be that guy. <laughs> I hate guys. I hate people like that. It's so cringe. Oh my god. See, this is why I use voice changer. Uh, uh, do, do you not want to speak anymore? Is that, is that what it is? I, I know you're drying content, mate. I'll, I'll give you some content. Can't hear and get your fucking cock out. Ew. Yo. Like it's, I wouldn't have mind, you know, if he came up to my base and talked to me. Like the fact that he just does this in chat. Like, come on, bro. I tried to ignore them to the best of my ability, but they just wouldn't give up. I'm gonna suicide bomb, suicide bomb into my base. I can feel it. Here it comes. Told you. Love is a burning thing, and it makes. Cringe! It's it's not being fun. They sat outside my base for pretty much the rest of the night, so I went ahead and called it quits there for day two. Who knows? Maybe things will change tomorrow. The next day I wasn't raided, although almost immediately I noticed two full of gear guys running into a brand new compound right outside my base. I grabbed a close to broken pump action shotgun and went to check it out. Of course, it was Benny. If you guys look closely, he was with one of the guys that tried to offline rabi the night before. And, well, let's just say things didn't change. As soon as they discovered that I was online, they went back to their roots and once again sat outside my base. I of course ignored them and got off for a while, but once I got back on a few hours later, I woke up to this. 
Once again, they offline raided me. A group of at least four people could even get the courage to online raid a solo player. Even after they said these exact words. Pointless. And to top it off, the next day when I got onto the server under a different identity to seek my revenge, I made the discovery of their bases being completely gone. By the looks of things, they despawned all of their loot and completely left their bases to decay. But that doesn't mean I'm going to forget. Benny and his little goons are still very much on my shit list, and one day justice will bite them in the ass. So I have a message for Benny and every single one of his little butt buddies. I'll always remember you. You can't hide forever. And to be honest, let's just cut through the bullshit. Give me a server. Your boys versus me and my boys. We'll play the wipe normally, but just remember, I will be hunting for you. Oi! If you did enjoy the video or movie, please do drop a like. Also, if you guys would like to see some more behind the scenes stuff, along with staying up to date on video releases or other things like giveaway streams and memes, be sure to join my Discord. Oh, and if you do enjoy the music that's playing right now, be sure to check out Zoldi on SoundCloud. He has some killer music and honestly, he's extremely underrated.